tuning in. Today I have a wig review from Bobby Boss. It is from their Curl Pop collection. And I have the style Odelia. And then I've got her in the color TT1B slash 4273. All right, so I've got Odelia out the box. And as you can see, this is a blonde color, pretty curls. Um, so she appears to have got a comb in the front. Not the front. I'm sorry, y'all. It is here. Um, comb in the back. Two combs in the front. Adjustable strap. So standard um, cap construction. And she's got a um, lace parting space for you. All right. So let me get the lace put and get her on. And then we will be back to chat about her.
guys. So I'm back and I've got I Odelia styled up. So let's talk about her. So the color, love it. Oh, excuse me. So this is a TT1B4273. So the TT, I'm assuming stands for uh, not two tone, but I guess it has many tones in it, <laughs> two toned hair. One uh, B at the root, so you can see it's a dark one B at the root. Uh, color number it says four two seven three, so I'm gonna break it up. Color number four, so um, hmm, maybe it's the color number four. I don't know. It four twenty seven and three. I don't know. But there's like three different colors in this wig. So you got the 1B, then you got the color number 27, which is, uh, looks like it's this. And then you got even lighter color in it. So yeah, you got a wonderful color combination. It all boils down to blonde. <laughs> so this is blonde with a dark root. Um, the texture, uh, the texture is wonderful, guys. Like, I love this texture. These curls are soft, <laughs> very bouncy. Um, what you call these springy curls? I love this. Feels like real hair, human hair. So the texture is bomb on this. Um, what I love about this wig is that it's a curly wig but it comes out curly at the root, like real hair. Like I see some wigs or a lot, most wigs that are curly, um, they start out like straight at the root and then they go into the curl pattern. But well, that's not how our hair does in real life. It comes in curly at the start at the root. So yes, I love that they did that with this one. It actually um, makes the curls look more realistic, of course. Um, so I love that this texture, this color, Oh, it's bomb. It's bomb. They did a really good job with um, with those. So kudos. Style itself, I wasn't feeling the shape of it. So I went in, as you guys saw, and just cut, uh, tried to cut it to frame my face. First of all, I don't really like hair in my eyes. So <laughs> the hair was all over my eyes. So I went in and cut it down at an angle um, on both both sides. Yeah, on both sides to try to make it frame my face and I, you know, got a little scissor happy up here. I've been scissor happy since the age of 12, ask my mama. Like, I'll just cut my hair just and just keep going. Just cut. So yeah, got a little scissor happy, made me some little bangs here. Um, and then I wasn't feeling like it's really a middle part wig, uh, but I shifted it to make it a side part. Um, because I was feeling that look a little bit better and then I um, After I cut it and got it styled. I still wasn't feeling how it was sitting on my head So I just shifted the part made the part look uh, more deeper. So I just shifted it a little bit more That looks better to me. So yeah <laughs> the, uh, Colors bomb the textures bomb the style. I feel like they could have shaped it a little bit more, but some people may like that um the cap construction is standard, so it's the two combs in the front, one in the back, adjustable straps. Then you have this parting space. Um, I always look to see if they quote um, how big of a parting space you have. Um, it's a four inch um, deep lace part, as you can see, so yeah. It looks, it looks really cute on the model as a middle part, but I just, yeah, it just looked crazy to me, <laughs> me so uh, yeah. So four inch um, lace part. Okay, so the part, yeah, I had to uh, clean it up a little bit. It wasn't parted straight, had airs here and there. So I went ahead and um, got that straight. The hairline is not uh, pre-plucked. Um, so yeah, if you want to wear this, you know, wear it back or whatever, then you might have some, you might have to do some pre-plucking. So in that way, it may not be, um, as beginner friendly if you're wanting to do that you might have to go in and pluck the hairline because yeah it's not it's not pre plucked so yeah and the part could use a little more plucking um it's not horrible but yeah it could use a little bit more yeah those two things but you know that's okay i don't think they claim on here that it is pre-plucked or anything um yeah it doesn't say that it's pre-plucked so yeah but you know what 
can still wear it. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Just that some people, they, if you want it to look a little more realistic, you can go in and pluck the parts and more. So. The lace is a little dark um, when I cut it off. So I went in with a, a little lighter um, fit me powder and colored the hairline and the parting and I mean it don't really matter on the hairline because I'm not like gonna be wearing it back or anything but in the parting space um yeah I colored it in it come with it kind of has a lot of baby hairs actually and I started to use them right here but then because they was like kind of sticking out like come on give me a chance like, use me I'm here so but yeah I <laughs> you only use them to do my little uh, swoopy do thing right here at the part pull some out to use right about right here so yeah I tucked it behind my you know tucked some hair behind my ear and pinned it back because I like that I like that look actually I love I love those looks so any wig where I can like tuck it behind my ear I like that so yeah that's what I did and I pulled some hair down right here so there's not a lot of shedding angling I'm not fixing to put my fingers through this okay because when I was trying to like uh straighten out the part like yeah it was some issues with the curls getting tangled and stuff so I, yeah i'm not gonna run my fingers through this <laughs> probably getting any shedding um i'm not testing the tangling <laughs> but i will say this wig is not that long so if you shouldn't have too much um tangling with it i would feel comfortable wearing it all day yeah that's really really cute really pretty i like the color i love the curls price on this it's about um, about $35, give or take, depending on what website you go to. And I think, I can't remember if there is an upcharge for color, but I'll leave a, um, I'll let you guys know in the description if there is, because this color is really cute. Like, I really overall like this wig. The only thing is it's not plucked, or pre-plucked, shall I say. It's plucked, the part's plucked, plucked but it doesn't have like the, where it looks natural, <laughs> like a natural part. Um, so yeah, you might have to go in if you want it to look more, more natural and do some additional plucking there and on the hairline and the lace is a little bit dark. So, but you know, it's basically a throw on and go and you can just bobby pin it down. So, you know, you might not even have to worry about the hairline unless you just want to wear this backing up or something like that, I don't know. But yeah, I plan, if I wear it, I plan on wearing it like this. Um, I may wear it all the way down, but yeah, I like it better like this, so. Yes, it's, oh, these curls are very natural feeling, like seriously, and I love, like I said, I love how the curls come out at the roots. Like, it looks more natural in that way. So yeah, if they ever made a version of this where it's pre, where it's pre-plucked or plucked more in the parting space and at the hairline and it had the curls, that wig would be fire, okay? <laughs> it would be fire. So, and the HD, and HD lace. So we need some little lighter lace on this. And yes, this wig would be the bomb. Um, I like this wig. I will wear it. Um, I'm gonna wear it like this. Um, Cause I like it. That's just my personal preference. Pretty long. Just past the, not pretty. When you do like this, you know. But yeah, it just comes past the shoulder. It's not too long. The density is just perfect. It's not thin. Um, I'm sure it'll get thicker the more I wear my fingers through it. So anyway, I hope you guys have found this wig review informative. Again, this is um, Bobby Boss Curl Pop Odelia in the color TT1B4273. It says it has a um, flex fit cap. I didn't see that. So yeah, the cap got some stretch to it, I feel. So yes, it's elastic. So you bigger head ladies, rejoice. <laughs> you got some room. <laughs> okay, so if you guys have enjoyed this wig review, please hit the like and subscribe button. Feel free to leave comments, questions, concerns, whatever. And as always, if you don't protect anything else, protect your peace. I hope to see you here next time. Thank you for watching and have a great one.